over 300 former employees of a Foxconn Xbox 360 manufacturing plant in China threatened to commit mass suicide. Imagine all of your co-workers at your workplace at the same time all threatened to commit suicide. The future that Microsoft wishes to build is a world of pure will and pure technology. This is the drive to accumulate capital, with the human body and flesh as its harvest. The motivations of the human subjects rot away, leaving only the carcass of a fully realized technological society. Pure capitalism is a completed metaphysics. The maggot man is the final human being, consuming up the rest of humanity that has been left for dead. The maggot men are the recuperative arms of virtual capital, seeking nourishment, finding resistance, and assimilating, appropriating, overwhelming, and at last conquering digitally nomadic proletarian. Hopelessly mediocre, he sees himself as the pinnacle of history. The maggot man transforms living energy and labor into electronic replicas of a dead culture's skin and then crawls inside. Not a cultural stone is left unturned by the maggot man. In the spirit of digital capitalism, the maggot man is the machinery of dead labor and virtual value. He is the creative leader of virtual capital, feeding off dead flesh. The last harvester of the human senses before they are transitioned from human to cyborg. Look in the future. What would you like to tell your Xbox? Anything in the world. What? And Make me coffee. Okay. Cook me some pasta. <laughs> Make me money. Fold <laughs> <laughs> oh. my laundry. I, you know what? I would love an Xbox that I just go play me this classical movie. That's all I want. The maggot man, sick of himself, needs technology. In his future, technology separates from the human species. The human animal breaks off into the networked intelligence of digital technology. arm of the Microsoft Empire plans out the furtherance of its conquest. It is guarded by a paranoid security team and covered in surveillance cameras. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation dispenses large amounts of money all across the world, selectively promoting and facilitating the growth of emerging technologies and cultural trends. Among many interests, the foundation focuses on funding genetically modified crops and various methods of population control. Not only does the foundation promote the use and integration of Microsoft computers in the third world, it is attempting to take control of the global food supply by forcing countries to grow Monsanto golden rice, a genetically modified crop that is copyrighted and tightly controlled.
Bill Gates grew up in Seattle as a little rich boy. And now that he's getting older, he is returning to his roots. After stepping down as CEO of Microsoft, Gates created a think tank called VGC3. It is located here, next to the Woodmark Hotel and Yacht Club. Surrounded by the most opulent residents of the metropolis, Bill Gates continues to find new avenues and paths for his technologies and money. BGC3 is located at the Carillon Point Development, an upper-class pavilion with two high-end restaurants that feed the highly paid employees and visitors that come through each year. Below the Grand Bistro American is the Marina Room, a space that houses numerous Microsoft events and conferences each year. In 2012, a group of Microsoft company leaders met to discuss how Shakespeare's The Tempest would help them make better decisions. The leaders were equated with the colonizers landing on the island. Any problems these leaders might encounter were equated with the dark-skinned native Caliban and his mother, Sycorax, the witch. Is to go once more under the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English debt. In peace.